Right now on Crime 2 News at noon, we are on storm watch all across the inland northwest. Just take a look outside. Lots of snow falling this morning. However, the rain has moved in, but the biggest danger is still ramping up with those winds on the way tonight. Again, a live look. This is from our Silverwood camp. Also, this is what it looked like in Spokane just a few hours ago as we got our first major snowfall of the season. And you can see snow covering the ground and the winds already again starting to pick up. Hi everyone and welcome to Creme 2 News at noon on this Friday. I'm Laura Papetti. As winds begin picking up, one big thing we are tracking at noon, power outages. And it's a real threat to many people out there. Thousands of people are without power right now. This is an updated look at the Avista power outage map. More than 2,800 Avista customers are right now in the dark. You can see the outages stretch from the Deer Park area over to Spokane South Hill with more outages over in North Idaho as well. Avista said prior to the storm, the weather conditions may slow down their ability to get that power restored. Inland Power has nearly 2,200 customers without power, most of them within Spokane County. Kootenai Electric also reporting some small outages as well and those could continue to increase. So we are certainly tracking this latest weather movement. We wanna make sure you know what to expect, especially over the next 24 hours. So here's a look at our team coverage. Nicole Hernandez, she is in the Creme 2 Storm Tracker Unit with a look at current conditions. But first, we're gonna head outside to meteorologist Thomas Patrick. Thomas, this may be the last half hour you can stand outside at least for a while. Yeah, that is right, because that power outage situation is only going to get worse throughout the day today, not because of the snow, but because of the winds that are increasing. It's just been little by little, but been fighting the umbrella a little bit more just in the past couple minutes. But I'll tell you what, 35 and raining outside here in Spokane, only up a couple degrees from this morning, just enough to get the snow to stop, but it has all switched over to rain. At least here in Spokane County, same story out of Deer Park, where you had an impressive amount of snow. The only snow reports that were more than an inch came out of Deer Park early this morning. You also see all that rain right through the Palouse. Looks like Coeur d'Alene indicating snow, but we've been seeing some rainfall, especially at lower elevations, even from the late morning hours. As for northeastern Washington, a bit more likely that that snow is still falling in this region and out in North Idaho as well. You saw those live pictures from Athol at Silverwood theme park. The snow definitely still flying around, but still having a hard time sticking to the ground, even on the grassy surfaces. It's 32 in Sandpoint, but up to 35 in Spokane. But here's the warm air. It's not all that far away. This is why the snow is transitioning over to rain. It's 46 in Ritzville and even 55 degrees in Pomeroy right now. So the snow is not an issue. It's going to be melting throughout the day. Instead, the wind will be the big issue. High wind warnings go into effect starting at 5 o'clock tonight. That is going to be the point where those winds could turn damaging, but the height of the windstorm a couple hours after that. So we're going to be timing out the latest with this windstorm moving through the inland northwest in just a couple minutes. Thomas, thank you. And while the snow is melting in many spots out there, always a good idea to take it slow when you're driving. This morning, our Creme 2 team spotted this crash along I-90 near Finch Arboretum, where a truck crashed and went over a guardrail. Luckily, no reports of serious injuries from that crash. Drivers also need to be on alert for snow plows. Remember to give the plows plenty of room to do work. You should avoid passing or tailgating them, obviously, and watch out for that cloud of snow or water spray plows do create. It can block your own side of the road. So again, men and women are out there doing the work we need to get done, so give them their space uh, while they're out there clearing the roadways. Creme 2's Nicole Hernandez, she is out on the road. Should know she is not driving. She's in the passenger seat in the Storm Tracker 2. Nicole, how's it looking? So right now we're heading on Sprague, heading east, and things are looking much better than they were early this morning. Take a look. This is Sprague here. You can see roads are wet, a little bit of rain still, but nothing like we saw earlier today. This morning we had very slushy roads with snow sticking both on the roadways and the sidewalks and the bushes and the grass. Uh, that has since melted most of the way off, and now we're really talking about wind. So we've seen this before. A winter-like storm, well, it still looks like fall, and and those leaves on the trees like this can actually make a windstorm more likely to cause power outages. So I talked to Avista about why. If the leaves are still on the trees, making the, the tree limbs and the trees heavier, 
And when those trees come in contact with our lines and our power poles, it can cause a disruption of service for our customers. So our crews are ready to respond at a moment's notice. So here's some things that Vista customers uh, should look for ahead of the storm like this. Uh, if you can, grab yourself a flashlight with extra batteries, grab candles, backup generators, and if you have a wood-burning stove, make sure you're stocked up on wood as well. And of course, those winds have been picking up throughout the day, but they will just keep getting stronger through the night. We actually are seeing that their winds it could pick up to upwards of 60 miles per hour. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crem 2 News. Nicole, you and Nate, be safe out there. Thank you very much. Five minutes past noon right now. We're going to take a moment, take another live look outside. This is along Highway 2 north of Spokane. You can see quite a bit of snow on this side of the road, but the highway itself looking pretty good and traffic moving along nicely. So we do want to make sure you have the very latest weather information as we get, of course, deeper into fall and into winter. Be sure to download the CREM2 app. You can sign up to get weather alerts and pushes with the latest forecast or any power outage information. You can download the app. It's in your phone's app store, and we encourage you to do so. And we love seeing your video and pictures, definitely from our first snowfall of the season, but we like them throughout the whole year as well. So take a look at some of the great shots that people have already sent in and posted. Keep them coming, whether it's snow or unfortunately, if there's any damage from the winds later today, we want to see what it looks like where you live. As long as you can safely snap a picture, text your video and photos to us, our text line 509-448-2000.